The American Red Cross has now declared a national blood crisis, saying this is the worst shortage in over a decade, posing a risk to patient care. Beaumont Health and Met Michigan Medicine are both calling on more people to give blood, with Beaumont now forced to delay some elective surgeries. And that is something our Dr. Frank McGeorge feared could happen just a few weeks ago. And he's here with us now live. Hey, Doc. Hey, Karen and Jason. Yeah, you know, the pandemic continues to make it very difficult to collect sufficient blood supply. In addition to the blood that's needed for traumas and surgeries, there are patients who need frequent transfusions just to survive. Now, that includes many people with sickle cell disease in particular. And tonight, the Red Cross is urging people to remember those who are relying on their donations. Normal cell lives for 120 days, but people with sickle cell, our blood cells only last 12 to 15. So our blood cells are dying faster than they are regenerating. Deandra Smith from Redford Township was two years old when she was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. It's been like a roller coaster ride. I've lost partial vision in my right eye. I've had my gallbladder removed, two reconstructive knee surgeries. I've been hospitalized over 75 times. In college at Central Michigan, she began working to raise awareness of sickle cell disease. Then another turning point. And during the pandemic, like many of the Americans, I lost my job. And I think it was actually the biggest blessing that I've ever had. She typed sickle cell jobs into Google. And the job of a sickle cell account manager with the American Red Cross came up. And I said, that's going to be my job. Smith is now working to educate others about sickle cell and the need for blood. Some sickle cell patients like will require up to 10 units a month. They are constantly getting transfused. She hopes those who can give blood will help meet the constant need. You're doing something good for the community. You're doing something good for yourself because you're really saving a life. Now, Smith is also working hard to increase the diversity of blood donors. For patients who require frequent transfusions, it's important to have blood that actually matches other factors beyond basic blood type. And recipients are most likely to find that match in donors of a similar racial and ethnic background. Yeah, Frank, uh, giving blood, is that still the number one way people can help right now? Yeah, pretty much. And you have to make an appointment to donate blood. In fact, the Red Cross says only about 60% of the appointments in the Detroit area for the rest of the month are filled. What we need right now is a steady, reliable supply of blood. So filling all of those appointments is essential. Yeah, absolutely. Doc, thanks for that. And by the way, to everyone else, you can make an appointment to donate at a Gardner White store tomorrow in Auburn Hills, Brighton, Ann Arbor, Canton, Novi, or Warren. The full details are on the health page at clickondetroit.com. And if you can't give this week, the Red Cross encourage you to make an appointment for next week or maybe even a month from now. Remember, every donation can save up to three lives.